Okay, guys, we're back, and uh, we're going to do the next match. But, uh, yeah, Rebecca Black is the winner of the first match. So she'll get her paycheck. And, of course, uh, everyone's going to get paid, but the winner, uh, obviously... But, yeah, the winner obviously gets the most money. I mean, she uh, she got an extra $300 in addition to the $400 that she's to get paid. As for Bulldozer, he gets paid, like, $500 a match, so... And, of course, yeah, if he wins, he gets an extra $300. And so will the winner. So, uh, I'll, I'll, tell, I'll, I'll talk more about the Bulldozer uh, uh, at the top of the match, but... For Bulldozer, uh, this is uh, his first. This is actually his first uh, appearance here at the at WrestleMania. Okay, let me just turn it up a little bit. There we go. So yeah, Bulldozer, his first, or rather his debut at WrestleMania, but uh, it's going to be his only appearance. So it's better to have said that. I guess it's better to have one appearance than never to have any at all. And his opponent is The Miz. Now for The Miz, yeah, he has had his problems with R-Truth uh, in real life. I mean, R-Truth has attacked Miz for what The Miz did to him when he attacked R-Truth from behind. And uh, yeah, it's a very volatile situation, especially in real life. But, but right now, the Miz has got to concentrate on the Bulldozer. I mean, Bulldozer's bad enough. I mean, you got a 350-pound man going up against you, but then you also have R-Truth to worry about. So for the Miz, he's got to focus on the task at hand. So, uh, so yeah, we dispensed with the preliminaries, like the introduction and everything, because, you know, we don't want to take up too much time. Now, do we? And we're off. A knee, a knee right to the side of the head of Bulldozer to start the match. Now, for the Bulldozer, this, this is his last match. I mean, this is the last match he is contractually obligated to wrestle. And a belly-to-belly -belly suplex right to the Miz. So, for the Bulldozer, this is it. Uh, he is not coming back. He wants to go back to the construction site that he once worked for, but is now going to be the foreman, which is to say he will be the boss, so to speak. And uh, right now, Bulldozer's not looking good against The Miz early on. And, and The Miz is just getting funky like a monkey, but he better not take Bulldozer too lightly. Which is kind of ironic, but he gets a knee right to the side of the head. But... Back to my point, and oh my god, it's our truth Yeah, it was only a matter of time before he showed up. Wait a minute. A wheelbarrow face buster right to uh, the Miz. I mean, when he... I have to tell you guys a little story. If I, I don't know if I told you this. I might have told you this uh, one uh, some other time ago, but... The story goes is that Bulldozer, when he began, he was once a uh, construction worker. Just a normal man, just trying to do everything he could to uh, make a living. And then one day, he had an accident that almost paralyzed him for life. And uh, his younger cousin, uh, this was back when uh, Bulldozer was like 29 years old. Uh, but it took him two years to recover. And by, the, and by the time he turned uh, 20, no wait, 33, I think, no, wait, 32, okay. By the time he turned 32, uh, he, finally got his, he finally got himself a license to wrestle, and, uh, and we were impressed with his work in the independent scene, and we just decided to sign him to a deal. Snap a snap suplex right to Bulldozer, that's kind of impressive, I will have to admit. Excuse me. Um, of course, his younger cousin was the one that got him into wrestling business. And uh, Bulldozer has done pretty good for himself. He's been uh, uh, a three-time Intercontinental Champion. Uh, he never won the United States Championship. And he never won uh, a world title. 
but uh, he's also won uh, the Unified Tag Team Championship with three different partners, so Bulldozer is capable of teaming up with anybody. Of course, he is just as capable of taking good care of himself. Uh, but I do understand that while he's not coming back, uh, his cousin, his younger cousin at the age of uh, 27, uh, we, we decided to sign him in place of Bulldozer. And uh, as for who it is, I'll, tell, I will, I'll, I'll get to that uh, when we get to uh, the 2012 season on WWE 12. So, yeah, that, that's going to be a, a, a work in progress, but... Yeah, and plus, while I'm gone, I'm going to be doing maintenance. As soon as I get the game, and as soon as I set everything up, uh, the, the re our wrest my wrestling company will be under maintenance. And in between that time, I'll, uh, I'll be doing some other LPs or doing some other videos or something like that. Or just plain taking a break, you know? Because I can only do this for so long before I can just say, hey, I need a break. So... Yeah, that's 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 the deal, folks. Anyway, let's get back to the match right now. A, another belly to belly suplex to the Miz, and uh, so far this has been back and forth. I mean, when Miz has had the advantage, he, uh oh, nope. Yeah, when Miz has had the advantage, he's been able to use his speed against Bulldozer. But when Bulldozer, wait a minute, and the Miz was going right after our truth, but I don't think it would. Yeah, not a smart idea. Wait a minute. Another sm sl snap suplex right to the right to the bulldozer, and now our truth grabbing him by the leg, which has caught, which was, which caused a distraction right to uh, bulldozer, or for the bulldozer to take advantage rather. Excuse me. I mean, our truth just wants to get him, want just wants to get him some, and just get right to uh, the bull. Uh, right to the Miz, rather. Excuse me. He wants to get himself his hands on the Miz, but the Miz... Gotta be careful, though. You can't just go right after R-Truth as much as you want to kick his ass. And, of course, R-Truth is smart enough not to just attack Miz because he knows that he can get Bulldozer disqualified and, you know, you don't want Bulldozer to get angry. I mean, Bulldozer... Um, I mean, Bulldozer, when he's normal, is bad enough, but when he's angry, ooh, you better watch out, because he can kick your ass from uh, pillar to post, if you know what I mean. Oh, and a huge clothesline right to Miz. And, oh, oh, wait a minute. Muscle Buster right to the Miz. But the Miz, oh, and a rake in the eyes. Wait a minute. A hip toss. And oh, oh, he's going to set him up for it. He's going to set him up for the pile driver. The pile driver right to the Miz. And this has got to be over. This has got to be it. One, two, three, and it's over. So the, so the bulldozer has earned his final paycheck and is going out on a high note. Congratulations to the bulldozer. So yes, the bulldozer has won. Uh, we'll see his cousin, uh, his younger cousin rather, uh, next season for uh, WWE 12. But congratulations to the congratulations to the bulldozer once again. And uh, the Miz, well, our uh, truth didn't need to do anything. I mean, he just let bulldozer do what he wanted, and that is to get the pinfall and the win.